Why do objects move in circular motion? We're going to try to understand how it happens. So let's again consider an object that's moving in a circular path like so. Now what we do realize is that uh, he could be moving at a certain velocity like this and then assuming he does uniform circular motion meaning that the speed stays the same then at another point his velocity will look something like this the magnitude will be the same but you'll notice that the direction is different now because velocity remember is a vector and so that means that if its direction is changing like so then its velocity is changing and so by definition if you have a changing velocity it means that you must have an acceleration now having an acceleration also implies that there is some resultant force acting on this object and so for an object to move in a circle by newton's second law there must be some resultant force acting on it but here's the puzzling thing we know that there is a force we know that there is an acceleration but the magnitude of the velocity doesn't change how can you accelerate yet keep the speed the same now it turns out that the only way you can do this is if your acceleration was perpendicular to your velocity at all times and so we deduce that this acceleration is always going to be perpendicular to the velocity and we can see geometrically what that means is that your acceleration always points towards the center of the circle and we call this acceleration okay we have a special name for it the centripetal acceleration ac and ac can be given by the linear speed v squared over r or it can be expressed as the radius r is the radius so i must be clear about that uh, or it can be expressed as r times omega squared so by newton's second law there is something called the centripetal force which is of course mac where mass uh, m is the mass of the object that is in circular motion okay and of course that means that your centripetal force can be written as mv squared over r or indeed mr omega squared.